My name is Kirana Bipimahedra. My friends used to call me Rara. I was born in Bandung, April 20th, 2009. Now I am 10 years old and I'm grade 5. I have a lot of hobbies. Two of them is are cooking and skating. I am very good at cooking and play roller skates. And now I want to tell you a story. The title is Best Friends Adventure. So this is the story. Once upon a time, there are a pair of best friends. They are Daphne and Mia. They are best friends since baby. Long time ago, before they are born, their mom and their are best friends too. They are inseparable. Finally, when they are married, have kids, and their kids happen to be girls. Then they decided, so that so that they could not be separated, that those children must be best friends too. One day, Mia's dad got a job in a distant city, so Mia's family must move. Their mom and themselves feel very sad. Finally, on Sunday morning, Mia's family moved. In the beginning, because they're very sad, Daphne and Mia didn't want to go to school. It lasts for almost three days. Their mom said, it's okay, you could send emails or exchange letters. Don't really worry about it. Living without your best friends is not the end of the world anyways. But for them, it is the end of the world. They have nothing to do on their weekends, home, and even on school. One Thursday, Daphne sent Mia an invitation. It's a sleepover party invitation from one of their friends, Emma. Well, Mia is, on, Mia is on a family trip to that town too, so Mia can come. Daphne is so happy and Mia as well. Then, on, su on Saturday night, all of the girls are invited to the all of the girls that are invited come to the party. When Daphne and Mia see each other, they run and finally hug each other. They even cry happily. It feels like it's been a year, Mia, even though it's only been a month. I really miss you, said Daphne. Me too, Mia answered back. They really have a good time together. When it's bedtime, they even sleep in the same sleeping bed. Good night, Daphne, Mia said. Good night to you too, and Daphne answered back. Daphne, Daphne, Mia said. What is it? said Daphne. I need to go to the toilet. I'm kind of scared to go alone, answered Mia. Oh, fine, said Daphne. But suddenly, when they go to the toilet, the inside of the toilet is a, is a portal to a whimsical world. At first, they can't open the door, but then Daphne read something on that door. Daphne told Mia that the, that the door needs to be pushed. Well, okay then. At least we're in nice clothes in case we meet some other people, Mia said. Okay then, let's push this door on the count of three, two, one, push, Daphne said. But when they pushed, the door opened it itself. Then. Daphne realized that they're on a cotton candy cloud. How wonderful! When Mia wakes up, she really eats some parts of the cotton candy cloud. After that, Daphne and Mia jump and jump and jump so they can come down. When they finally come down, they realize that all of the things were made of candies. For example, clouds, trees, flowers, and more. Then they find a message in the champagne bottle. Def Daphne opens the bottle and reads the message. It says, if you want to go back home, find a key in the cave. It's a dark cave, but if you bring something hot and bright and a little teamwork, you can find it. Then bring it to the highest hill here. Find a suitcase, open the suitcase, and you'll go home, Daphne explained. So they walk for about 10 minutes. Finally, they find a cave two small rocks, and two small sticks. The cave is really dark. To look for the key, they need light. Daphne think to, so hard and finally paid off. Daphne remember what the science teacher said about how to make fire with stones and sticks. Well, she thought that fire is hot and bright. Mia, the hot and bright thing is fire. Remember what our science teacher taught us about making fire with stone and sticks, said Daphne. After that, they make a fire torch with those stuff. Then, the inside of the cave, they find the key. 
Finally, they continued their walking, walking, walking business. Then, Mia see a hill. Well, from the other hills near that one is the highest hill over there. So, they climbed the hill. Daphne, I guess I cannot do this because of the heights. You know, I'm scared of that, right? said Mia. Of course, silly. Come on, do you want to go home? Let's go then, answered Daphne. When they reached the top, they found the suitcase. Daphne pushed the key in the keyhole, and the key and the key entered. Suddenly, something shiny shining them. And when they opened their eyes, it's morning already. It is only a dream. When it's home time, Mia and Daphne is not sad again when they're far away. Because there is always a solution for every problem. Thank you.